a tryhard versus a casual gamer. If you're just good at the game, are you tryharding? You have to be somebody that sits there all day and just plays the game to be considered a tryhard or a sweat. If you can't play that often and you just enjoy your games, are you just considered a noob or a casual? Let's get right into it and make sure you stay till the end to see what you are. First of all, don't let anybody tell you how to play the game. The game's supposed to be fun. Play it how you want to play it. This video is just about a discussion, just for entertainment value. There's a good chance you've probably heard someone talk about this. If not, you've talked about it. You'll be in a game and you'll be like, oh my God, this guy's sweating his ass off. Or he's like, oh my God, he's try hard and watch out. Or just on the opposite end, you're like, okay, this guy's trash, casual, noob, whatever, right? It can go either way. So let's start off easy. The term try hard, right? Or sweat, no life. They all basically mean the same thing. And in my opinion, there's really two main ways of looking at this. So this first one's the way that most people probably interpret these players. These are people that sit on the game all day long. They're putting maximum effort into every moment of their gameplay in order to win. They are trying their absolute hard artists the whole entire time they're playing they're trying so hard there's no way they can possibly be having fun with the game at that point like myself who doesn't try that hard and actually just relaxes and enjoys the game also i can't sit on it all day long and play it like them so that's kind of the first mindset right you know people who think like that if not you in the second way to think about it which i think is a little bit more accurate is that these players understand the game much more than most and have a higher skill level than the average player so therefore the base amount of skill level that they use regularly is going to be a little higher doesn't mean they're putting maximum effort into the game all the time. Let me just pause real quick and say, I've learned you can't please everybody, right? If I don't play good enough, I, I'm considered trash, like not that good. I got to work on my skills, right? People make fun of me, especially in the comments because I'm uploading all my stuff. Or if I'm playing really, really good, then I'm a try hard, a no life, a nerd, and I get called all these things regularly, right? It's just part of the industry. But I'm saying, don't worry about what other people call you. Take it from someone like me. I get called lots of things. Internet's a strange place. Anyway, on the other side of that, there's the casual, the noob, right? The other side. And that's not a bad thing at all. To be relaxed or a casual or a noob, whatever you might want to call them. That's how all video gamers started. All of them. No one picked up a game and they were just like, I'm crazy. Not a single person. A lot of people simply don't have the time in their day. They're very busy. They enjoy video games, but they just can't play them all the time. You know, they get on once or maybe a few times a week, not even for that long at a time, but they still completely enjoy their experience while they're gaming. So because they haven't been on that long, they haven't spent a lot of time raising their base skill level, right? So if they go up against one of these other players who have, that's when it's a very offsetting experience, which really shouldn't happen that often with the current skill-based matchmaking system if it's working well in your particular game. But it will always happen no matter what occasionally. So that's where I think a lot of these terms come from. Just two very different players. There are a lot of people who are just naturally talented at video games and they don't even spend a lot of time on the game and they're still very good. I'm sure you probably know someone like this. And that's just due to either genetics or previous experience in life within another game or just something else that you need quick reactions for honestly if you're interested in gaming genetics or anything like that i made an entire video about what it means to have good game genetics and maybe be a pro in a video game here's a link right here click it if you're interested but anyway finish this video first so like i said you never know the background of the person who might be the try hard or the casual they might be actually very good at video games they just play different styles i mean there's lots of possibilities but you probably shouldn't assume that everybody who's pretty good at the game is putting maximum effort into every moment of their fight and or whatever they're doing it's not always the case and the dude that's not that good isn't always just garbage or trash maybe just give him a few days on the game you know maybe just give him a little time they'll be better than you if you're curious to see how good i am i'm regularly live streaming almost every single evening i have the link to all my socials in the description as well as just check out my twitch i might be live on tiktok and twitch at the same time while you're watching this so once again play however you want video games are meant to be enjoyed if you have fun trying to be competitively good and beating every single person you go against then do that if you have fun hopping on with the buddies once a week and just chilling then do that honestly do whatever makes you happy. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you have a good rest of your day and check out this video now. The algorithm really thinks you'll like it. How would they know?